Oh, finally! Finally! Jesus! Hey, what's up guys? It's Mary. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I make regular reaction and review videos, so hit that subscribe button and push bell notifications on so you never miss a video from my channel. As always, this video is gonna be available on Patreon, so the link will be in the description box below if you're interested in seeing my full reaction. And today we're continuing on with the MCU movies. The last one I did, I did it with my sister, The Incredible Hulk 2008. It was actually really fun and we did enjoy the movie, so go check that video out if you haven't already. I've also already reacted to the first Iron Man as well. So I'm pretty excited to see how Tony Stark is doing in this second Iron Man movie. This one was released in 2010, 10 years ago. As I've mentioned, I haven't seen any of the MCU movies. So I'm coming into this with a pretty blind eye, but I am aware of the hero's journey. And even still, I didn't really anticipate everything that was going to happen in Iron Man 1. It actually took me by quite a surprise, that film. So, so I'm excited, I'm excited to see how how this film surprises and delights me. Without further ado, let's get into this movie. All right. Do we have another superhero in the making right now? Or is he the villain? Maybe trying to replicate an Iron Man suit? Oh, what a cute little cockatoo. I thought cockatoos were only in Australia. Just imagine that freedom. Oh, shit. Nobody loves their flag more than Americans. <laughs> when I went to America, I literally saw the American flag everywhere and you don't see that in any country except for America. He's loving this fame. And arrogance, I can get behind. This kind of arrogance. I need him. He's so smart. Oh, what? How is he tapping into these countries? They're all trying to replicate the suit. Wow. Oh! You, buddy. We're We're the He's still arrogant, but like, I love his arrogance right now. Oh my god. This guy? I don't get good vibes from him. I don't think he's five or ten years away. I think he's right now. Tony's greatest threat. Unfortunately, the device that's keeping you alive is also killing you. <gasps> I hear What's chlorophyll? Irrevocably appoint you chairman and CEO of Stark Industries. That's big. Uh, put that in writing. Yeah. Oh, Scarjo. Why is he looking at Scarlet Johansson like lane. that? Um, don't tell me he's attracted to her. State your business. Can you, uh, give her a look? It's potentially a very expensive sexual harassment lawsuit. I, you <laughs> I love how she just straight away goes to the sexual harassment suit. Oh, wow. Holy crap. So she's a model and a fighter. Is she going to be his female counterpart? Oh, I miss Monaco. Monaco is a dream. Literally, it looks fake. It's just so beautiful and so small. Uh, Stop you acting you constipated. <laughs> Shit. 53% toxic blood. That is high. No wonder he's appointing her as the CEO. He's like expecting death. He's going to have to find some sort of cure by the end of this film. So I know there's an Iron Man 3, so we know he survives. But I think the potential villain of this film is in this car race. There we go. There he is. He's ready. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Why did he do that? Well, Toadie will survive this, so it's okay. Oh my god, where is his suit? He needs to put it on ASAP. What is this guy's deal? What does he have against Tony? He's got like an electric whip. He wants to be the next Tony Stark, clearly. I can't think of any other reason why he'd want to take him out. Wow. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Take that out. Do not blame her. Oh, for fuck's sake, can you stop destroying all the cars? 
What's his deal? Man hates cars. <laughs> Just keep running him over with your car. <laughs> Why is this so funny? Fucking hell. Jesus, get Papa Pepper out of that car. Wow, this guy is competition right here. So Tony knows French. That's pretty cool. Russian, Polish, or Czech. How does he know so much? I want to know more about this guy. What are you not telling me? I'm dying, Pepper. What does he want? 6219. 6219. 6219 brothers. Okay, looks like they planned that. Oh my god. All right, this cell is going to... Ah, what the fuck? I thought the 6219 prison buddies were friends. And it looks like that other 6219 prisoner just died. And he was in on it, dying. That was confusing. Of course it would be here. this guy that wants to recruit Sorry. him, wants to take on Tony, he's trying to get competitive. Who likes dessert before dinner? Italian. Right to business. I saw you do to Tony Stark on that track. By May. The prisoner looks a little bit similar to Tony, Tony Stark. Stark. Just look at his face. Not Whoa. when he opens his mouth though. Usually is this a bird back in Russia? Ah, so yes, he's Russian. His son, Ivan, who is also a physicist, oh. was convicted of selling... Well, at least we know what's going on. Oh, man, he is not strong. He needs to tell someone, like a doctor or... Pepper, someone, what's going on. <laughs> kind of marches to the beat of his own drum, doesn't he? 25.7 million a pop. So you think? Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> He's literally... Oh, it's the DJ to his own birthday party. The one he thinks is going to be his last. How do you go to the bathroom in your suit? <laughs> That's the question Just like I want to know, too. <gasps> Oh my god, he's gonna kiss her, he's gonna kiss her. After party starts in 15 minutes. Oh no! <laughs> he is out of control. Oh my god, that is so dangerous. Oh my god, is his friend serious? <gasps> that is so dangerous. He is out of control. He needs to take the suit off. Get out. All he had to do is wear the suit and say, get out. <laughs> Didn't need to do anything else. Give me a fat beat to beat my body. <laughs> that is hilarious. Then another one bites, another one bites the dust. This is a fat beat <laughs> to beat your friend's ass to. Get out of the way, Peppa. She's always in the way, isn't she? He's uh, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Um, He's on fire now. Jesus, what are they doing? Oh my god. Pepper must be like, you fucking idiots. So stupid, man. Guys in their fights. Ooh. Oh, his friend knows how to use the Iron Man suit. Is he trying to take over or something? Well, he's less arrogant, so. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to exit the donut. <laughs> exit 
<laughs> That's not looking so good. Ooh. Who is that? Oh, don't tell me, Scar. Scarlet. Freaking Here. knew she was like a superhero or something. I've been looking for a suitable replacement. Well, I'm here to tell you, you haven't tried yet. Oh, yay. Yeah, hey. He's gonna be saved. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> we got you the bird, pal. Mm. That's not his bird, I bet. Hey, man. He knows his bird. Listen, what do you remember about today? Huh? Love me, he never even told me he liked me. So wow. it's a little tough. I don't even remember the shield. What? Yeah, he definitely needs to be tamed or like have a boss because I feel like Tony with infinite power is just not good. Like his arrogance is just a little bit out of control. First thing I'm oh, his do friend is, is working. And then the second so thing I think I should Justin Hammer. They don't look impressed. I think I'll take it. Which one? All of it. All of it. Oh, that's surprising considering his face was very unimpressed looking. Oh, little Tony. <laughs> Looper real. He's gonna find an Easter egg in here. Limited by oh, the technology cool. of my time. It's like he's from the future. My greatest creation. Oh, wow. Must be. Oh, I got goosebumps. It must be so chilling to hear something like that when your father didn't really express love to you growing up at all. Can I move this? This is, this is crazy. I'm just like a terrible <laughs> robot. <laughs> Yes, please do. It's distracting me as well. And if I never got to express, and by the Love. way, this, be nice. just get to the point. Just, look, here's what I'm trying to say. Just Thank say you. it. Let me stop you right here, okay? Oh, fuck. If you... Your name is Natalie, isn't it? I Dude. You two didn't have some chill. You know, what'd you just say? It means you can either drive yourself home or I can have you collected. Collected? You're okay, good. his ass has really been handed to him by uh, some strong and powerful women. Destroy it. It's so annoying. Just put it in the bin. I hate that thing. I could never have something like that in my office. <laughs> this is the key. His dad was trying to leave him a clue. Which would be a lot easier if he just contacted Nick Fury and just asked him what the unknown element that could potentially save his life is rather than trying to figure it out himself. Ooh, wow. Oh my God, that's got to be really fucking dangerous. Can he stop? Oh my God, he has very little regard for his life. You have created a new element. Oh, that is amazing. He is the smartest guy. What the heck? <gasps> his pillows too. Both of them it's faced with quite a different problem. Maybe they Iron Man should have kept his identity ink. secret. James, James, how could you do this to Tony? Okay, Iron Man is back. No. no doing that. That's not me. Smart Tony, at least the people are, well, they're not safe, but they're relatively safe. Tony has an advantage, he has Jarvis. Jesus, this is literal terror on a city. She is a superhero, but she just needs an outfit. Wow, my man over here has some great fighting skills too. To the heart of the city. He's oh, gone. Is he? Yeah, typical. What are you doing? I'm rebooting ODC. I am loving Natalie. Wow. Wow. Yay, the fight stopped. Natalie's freaking smart. But your vitals are promising. That's yes, great. But I'm not dying. <laughs> so dying. casual you about it. Is that you? Uh, it's gonna make you an omelet and tell you. Hey, <laughs> well, we want to take the high ground, okay? So let's get the biggest. The high ground. ground. Drones are definitely more badass. Vanko kind of knew what he was talking about because no actual humans have to die. Ooh, fucking 
in these movies, always the trees have to suffer. Oh, there's a head in there. Uh, Van Kao. Well, at least there's two versus one. Fuck, but this guy has gotten even more badass. Fuck, fuck, attack. fuck. That was not... Yeah. <laughs> attack. <laughs> no, he's got his whips back. He's into some crazy shit, Van Ko. <sighs> don't, don't really see this going well. I can see a lot of trees dying. Oh. So he what? He wants a sidekick now. That's it's, that's progress. Did Vanko have a bomb in him too? No, that's it's just the drone. <gasps> wow! 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 Oh my god! That was so close. I, I quit. I'm resigning. Oh. That's it. It's like the oh, finally! <laughs> Fucking finally! Jesus! Now, do you change your mind? <laughs> so now he has a girlfriend and a sidekick. Personality overview, Mr. Stark displays compulsive behavior. Mm -hmm. I can believe that. That was last week. Awkward. <laughs> okay, where are we? End credit scene. Why does this look like Afghanistan again. New Mexico. Never been. So we found it. Oh, the hammer. Is that Thor's hammer? So I actually liked Iron Man 2 more than Iron Man 1. And I think that's because I liked the villain a lot more in Iron Man 2. The villain in Iron Man 1 just didn't really seem like a villain to me. And I've already spoken about this in my Iron Man review video. I preferred this villain because he made a lot of sense and there was a backstory that was tied with his father Howard and we got to learn more about Tony's upbringing and also on the topic of you know learning more about Howard his father Nick Fury also tied into that so we got to learn about how Nick actually knew his father and his father knew of the Avengers initiative so you know I think in Iron Man 3 we'll definitely get to see more of that. I like how the movie showed us six months after he revealed that he was Iron Man and the repercussions behind it. I know why all the superheroes generally keep it a secret that uh, they have all these powers because things like this happen. The Russian guy would have probably never known about Tony had he not come out and said, hey, I have this incredible suit that has all of these powers and all of those countries wouldn't have tried to mimic Tony and the military wouldn't have put all of this pressure on him. So yeah, I think it was really great that they started the film off with showing us what the repercussions of revealing himself as a superhero was. And I also like this movie more because we get to see Pepper and Tony finally embark on a new relationship. And it's kind of strange to see Tony in a relationship because I feel like he's never been in one and Pepper might be his first real relationship. And now she's officially his partner, not only in business because he made her CEO, but also in life. I hope in Iron Man 3 we get to see nuptials and maybe even a Iron Man baby. That would be pretty cute. I want to talk about Tony's um, personality. Yes, he was arrogant in this film, but in a different way, in a way that was very godly like he thought he was completely indestructible invincible no one could harm or touch him but he was very much humbled in this film and you could see that he was very much humbled in the end when he accepted help from his best friend by suggesting he be his sidekick and also by going back to Nick Fury and Natalie and accepting to work with them also on the topic of Natalie I'm glad that the story didn't go in like a love triangle kind of way because in the beginning I was like a little bit suspicious that that was going to happen but then when she was in the ring and she fought immediately I was like damn this lady she's hiding something she's got either superhero powers or she's not who she really is so I'm really happy that Natalie is just working in the Avengers initiative with Nick so those were all of my thoughts on the film let me know what you thought of this second Iron Man film did you like it more than the first Iron Man I have moderators now so I have people looking out for spoilers for me so thank you to all of my moderators who volunteered to help me out I'm trying to stay spoiler free on my channel if there's anything I hate in this world it is spoilers like I actually hate them so much one time someone spoiled game 
Game of Thrones for me and I literally haven't spoken to them since. So um, that's actually a true story. Uh, we weren't best friends or anything like that. More like we were starting to be friends and then she gave me a spoiler and I was like, okay, there's something wrong with you. I can't trust you. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Remember that the uncut version is available on Patreon. Link is in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe and push bell notifications on so you never miss a video from my channel. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. I will see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.